ASMR Sports here. Um, today we're going old school. Um, I had a hankering for some classic 80s baseball cards. Um, I was just thinking about the, uh, baseball sets from 86 and 87 um, I think I saw some of the cards from these sets online and thought you know those look really great um, 87 was probably the first year that I um, really legitimately started collecting cards as a young kid I'd bought some cards like in 86 but didn't really collect them I didn't really know what I was doing I just actually what had happened was uh, I was in school 1986 um, and um, I think I was in like second grade or something. A kid, um, okay, what grade was I in? I was probably, no, probably like third or fourth grade. Um, <laughs> anyways, a kid from school gave me um, a bunch of sports cards. I don't even, I don't even know what sports they were. Um, and like later that week.
God. Boy, did I lust after the, um, Jose Canseco card in here, like the Bo Jackson card, the Mark McGuire, um, a lot of really good Wally Joyner, and even today I think those cards just look really cool. <laughs> There's a Barry Bonds rookie in here, which might be actually the, probably the most valuable card in this set at this point is Mike, uh, Craig Maddox, rather. Um, since he's a Hall of Famer, it's his rookie card, even though it's not really worth that much, just because, you know, there's a lot of them out there, and he's not that sought after of a player. Alright, Garth Iorg, Pete O'Brien, Joel Davis, Dave LaPointe, Dave Lepper, Dwight Lowry, Uh, Raphael Palmero was another good card in this set. Until he kind of got uh, accused of um, steroid use. So I think these are legit. But, um, it's weird that there's like this yellowish stain. I've opened card um, packs from this box before, though. And I think I have gotten some good stuff. So I think these are legit. You know, these days nobody would certainly spend the time or effort. Moose Haas to search John Moses. 87 tops packs, but certainly back in the day there was plenty of incentive. In fact, I just remembered, uh, um, I'm sorry, I think I said 87 tops, but I meant 87 Donruss. Um, this card always struck me as weird, like you can't really see his face. It's sort of grayed out in a shadow. It looks very weird. I don't know what's going on with that. Here's a nice card. Will Clark, rookie card. Pretty worthless now, but back in the day, man, that was hot stuff. Oh yeah, um, back in like the late 80s, when sports cards were sort of, baseball cards were at their apex of, you know, interest and hotness. Um, some, sometimes people would have like Baseball card garage sales were like a collector who wanted to sell some cards, you know, would just have a garage sale and they actually might have stuff other than cards there, but the focus was on the cards. And, and you'd go there and you'd kind of, it'd be like a mini sports card show. Um, anyways, I went to one of those ones when I was just a kid, probably like nine or ten years old. And, uh, a guy was selling packs of 87 Donruss, which, you know, to even have stuff like that um, was a big deal, I think, you know, other than at a hobby shop. Of course, Snyder rookie card, he was uh, another young prospect that was very sought after, but not quite the caliber of some of the others in this set. Anyways, so this guy at this garage sale, um, sports card garage sale was selling packs of 87 Donruss and at that point I still wouldn't buy those because I just it was too premium I didn't buy any premium stuff back then just tops just the cheapest whatever got me the most cards for the buck is what I was gonna buy um but um so this guy had 87 Donruss packs on open packs and uh there's a nice Tony Gwynn um some some guy, an adult, who was there as a shopper, um, you know, bought, I don't know, five or six packs. And he, he kind of went off, and um, I was still there, and it was like five or ten minutes later, the guy who bought the packs comes marching back, and sure enough, he's like pissed off and claiming that the dude who sold them to, the, to him, like, had searched them, and uh, there were no good cards in it, and blah, blah, blah. And I can't even remember what happened. I think he probably gave him his money back. But, I was just remembering that that happened. And I like how this, I like how this, uh, looking through these old cards really jogs some memories. I also, it's funny, I probably have memories <laughs> of, like, 
you know, that relate to every set from the, you know, like 80, mid 80s to the late, um, early, early 90s. Joel Skinner. That's weird. This card doesn't look familiar to me, and that's surprising because I, I've definitely seen like every card in here. I feel like I've seen a Joel Skinner that looks different than this. Interesting. I, I, I mean, it's certainly not a variation or anything, but that's that's interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that one out just just in case I'm not losing. I can confirm I'm not losing my mind. Anyways, I have stories for like every set. Um, another story I have is when I was a kid and this stuff was out. Um, I went to church one day and uh, one of the older kids there I just bought like 10 or 12 packs of 87 Donruss from a convenience store that was like across the street from the church and he opened them you know while I watched and I thought it was like the most amazing thing I'd ever seen because um, you know I never bought that stuff and of course, for you know, a kid who was his age, probably 17 or 18, you know, buying 10 packs um, at at grocery store prices, which was like 50 cents, I think, for these guys, was really nothing. But for me, it was like a huge, a huge deal. Look at that! Look at that beauty. Nice. Actually, it's kind of that's like a printer's mark. But there you go. That that's definitely the card you want. When he was ripping up the league, hitting 49 home runs, setting the uh, he actually Mark McGuire. Let's talk about this. Mark McGuire um, held the record for most home runs by a rookie, which he said in 1987 that um, Aaron Judge of the New York Yankees broke last year when he hit like 52 or something. Um, so. Kind of cool. All right. Well, uh, I don't know what these are. What the heck are these? So, all right. Let's. I'm gonna go through these again real quick here. I'm pretty pleased. I don't know what these were. Five or six packs, and we got a McGuire. I kind of wanted the Bo Jackson. I just think that's a beautiful card. I love those Royals colors. Um, even though I'm not really a Royals fan, but I always thought the Bo Jackson cards from 1987 just looks phenomenal. Like his 87 tops, which is a future star card and has like this rainbow logo on it. That just looks amazing. Um, get my Tony Gwynn out. We didn't really get any good Raider rookies except for that McGuire. Which sounds kind of a bummer. So I'm just looking for um, that Will Clark. There it is. Okay, so I think that's kind of it for cards that I would consider particularly noteworthy from this bust. See y'all later. Bye now.